Warp has a sleek, minimalist interface that combines an IDE, a terminal, and AI agents all in one place. The AI vibe coding bubble has burst. We are moving into a world where AI is still being heavily used, but in conjunction with good software developers to help build pro-grade software that's not just throwaway apps. Think about it. You check your bank account every day and your bank's web or mobile app is a full stack application professionally designed by a team of front-end, back-end or full stack, DevOps, QA and security engineers with mobile and data engineers added when needed. When you call Uber or Waymo, you're once again using pro-grade software. It's not a one-pager built on WordPress. And your favorite platforms, YouTube, Google, Facebook, Instagram, Amazon, are all designed and developed by professionals in software engineering, cybersecurity, DevOps, and testing. So it's clear, everything that's extremely important in life is professionally built. And to build something even moderately serious, you need tools designed for that. Which brings me to Warp. In one of my previous videos, I reviewed Warp as the first agentic development environment. That means it combines the power of a terminal, the smart editing of an IDE, and the intelligence of multi-agent AI systems. Let's break down why Warp has become my go-to developer tool and why it might be the number one AI coding tool in 2026. Yes. Let's not waste any more time. Let's dive. Deep. Reason number one, it's an ADE, IDE plus CLI. Warp is built by engineers for engineers. It's already used by 700 thousand plus engineers, data scientists and product managers, and 56% of Fortune 500 engineering teams. Warp has a sleek, minimalist interface that combines an IDE, a terminal, and AI agents all in one place. I'll start by cloning a construction calculator project exactly like I would in a CLI. As you can see, I can manually approve each step or put it on autopilot, but I'm not stuck in the terminal view. I can browse folders like an IDE, open files with a click and edit them in a text editor pane. I can also pick my branch, double check the GitHub directory and manage everything neatly in one place. Most IDEs eat up three quarters of your screen with coat paints, Warp flips that, it keeps things minimal and only brings code forward when you need it. So everything stays clean and focused. I absolutely love it. Warp also has slash commands, attached context and even voice input. Fix this bug, please. A slash commands feel like an IDE's command palette, like VS Codes, giving you quick shortcuts. And when I click optimize, I can tell Warp to index the code base for smarter help. The agent scans the repo and documents it into a warp.md file that explains what the project does and where the important files live. That means I can just copy commands and get the app running without digging through folders. Reason 2. Best human in the loop UX. Warp isn't just prompt code dump. It gives you visibility and control over what the AI does. For example, when I ask it to fix bugs, I opened a dedicated code review panel showing every change it proposed. Nothing hidden. Green lines for additions, red lines for removals. I can apply changes with one click. But sometimes you want more control with inline diff editing. I can tweak the AI's patch directly instead of accepting it blindly. And if I don't like the fix, I can re-prompt the AI right in the diff panel. That means Warp doesn't replace me, it works with me. This experience is powered by the seamless integration of the file tree and the code review panel. The file tree isn't just for navigation, it provides the AI with a structured contextual map of your entire project. Project, allowing it to understand the relationships between different files and modules. When the AI generates a suggestion, it's presented in the code review panel, which offers a clear diff style view, just like a traditional code review. Here you can see exactly what will 
will change, inspect the suggestion line by line and choose to accept, reject or even modify the AI's output. This combination ensures you are always fully aware and in control, transforming the AI from a black box into a transparent collaborative partner. On top of that, Warp uses semantic code base indexing, so agents always have the right context. Instead of blindly searching, I can ask, find the function that calculates steel beam capacity. Warp scanned my project and instantly told me what was inside. In this case, it discovered there wasn't a function yet and suggested what to add next. It's like having an assistant who actually understands your code base, not just your keywords. What I really like about Warp's UX is how it stays out of the way. The dedicated review panel and other sections only appear when I actually need them. If I'm focused on tracking what the agent is doing, I'm not distracted by extra windows or artifacts. It feels like Warp is built on the principle that less is more. Everything is clean, minimal and only shows up when it adds value. Reason three, Warp turns repetitive tasks into one-click workflows. This is where Warp separates itself from everything else. With Warp, you don't just type commands. You can click, fix, explain, install, code, and deploy right from the input bar. Everyday tasks that used to take multiple steps are now one click away. Let me show you. I'll click explain after changing into a project directory. Warp instantly breaks down my environment the folder I'm in, the system I'm running, and the last command I executed in plain English. And Warp goes further with workflows. You can use ready-made starter workflows like undo last git commit or create your own custom ones. Let's create a new workflow. Title, start project. Description automatically sets up dependencies and starts your project and create. Now, no matter the stack, Python, Node or something else, I can spin up a project in one click. That's the kind of everyday acceleration Warp brings. Here are a few prompts I actually use and you can try them right away. First up, explain why the last script failed to run and propose exact shell fixes. Show the diff and wait for approval. Next, when I need my bearings, I ask index this repo and show me where the function module that implements a specific feature lives. If it's missing, suggest the smallest file and function to add. And when I'm kicking off a project, I go with create a start project workflow, install dependencies, copy.env.example to dot nth, then run start command. A few simple rules I stick to, review every diff, keep changes small and safe to rerun and never touch global configs or secrets. Keep it scoped to the repo. So here is why Warp might be the number one AI coding tool in 2026. This tool is designed to 100% remove distractions and maximize productivity. You won't see much displayed, but you have all the features you need right in front of you. From a vast number of useful tools to shortcuts to lightning speed, Warp is designed so that you as a software developer succeed. It's always exciting to watch the Warp team adding new features and optimizing the old ones, collectively working on a solution that is meant to be the number one tool on the market. Warp is compact, fast and real, built for serious projects and serious engineers. You can start free, just use the link in the description to spin up your next Next project. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I'm done for now and I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out.